Alright guys, this is going to be a shop update. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've really made a video. Um, I've been busy with, the, with my daughter and um, everything like that, but I figured I'd give you guys a shop update video. So, this is the back wall of my garage. I have some cars, a, po a couple posters, picture of my old car there. Different steel aluminum signs and whatnot. I have a shelf I hung with my Mustangs on it. Underneath is my RC Mustang drift car. And I got my radio. A um, couple cars here. Pratt Whitney. Um, Defend dependable engines um, from Pratt Whitney makes uh, jet engines and whatnot for aircraft. My older RC cars. Turn this light on. This is my little work light. So this has kind of been my become my work area. I got a Hot Wheels here. This is my stand for my RC cars. Um, junk over there. My drill. My impact driver. My defender. Parts for RC cars. Um, my team associated RC10 T2. My blazer. And then just some RC parts and stuff down there. Over here, you guys have seen this before. This is my 911 Memorial. So, a bunch of um, New York City cars. So, it's Georgia State Police car and U.S. Forestry Department. I didn't know where else to put those. Greenlight Fire Department custom trucks. So, that's all that over there. And this has been my workspace. This also has wrenches. Some sockets and just some random stuff in there. So turn around a the corner. These are the shelves I just put in. Uh, being of the week, I got these at Costco. If you live in the U.S. and you guys don't know what Costco is, it's basically a big warehouse, department, uh, grocery store type of thing, and you pay sixty dollars a year to um, basically get a membership. So this is all storage. Have my table saw. I just have some cardboard on here because I cut this up for a fire last night, and we never had the fire. And then all the s'mores stuff for the fire, but this stuff's usually not here. Um, boxes with just random stuff in them. Camping stuff there. More uh, camping table and chairs. My Coleman stove. My tents in the back. That's got all the rest of my camping stuff. That's my storage bin that I use when I go for rides um, on road trips and whatnot. I put it on top of the car. Uh, my daughter's little bike and my daughter's cozy coop that uh, Michaela sanded and repainted. So coming up over towards here's my gr my front door. There's my car. Um, I have so this shelf here. It comes as a five shelf, but there's a seam here and you put it together. And in the directions, it also there's instructions to make it a two and a three shelfer. So this is a three shelfer. This is the two shelfer. Um, has some of my daughter's um, stuff for, you know, when she was swimming and whatnot, and a rug for her, or a blanket thing for her lay on outside in the grass. Um, my ratchet straps there. So, okay, so this I basically turned into a woodworking shop, or uh, woodworking area. So I have my miter saw that my cousin actually gave me for free. Um, so it's got a lock here that you can, you know, raise it up or push it down and then you unlock this and the whole thing slides in and out, which I moved my bench so I have by accident so I have to fix that so it will slide all the way out without catching that. Fire extinguisher. So this is a shelf that I rigged up and built out of an old pallet. You can see here. So I have um, this surge protector in there. I have this in here, which runs off of this switch, so I can turn this light off and on without actually having to grab that switch up there. I have this surge protector plug that, if I trip the surge protector on it, it'll shut off power to that. So I can do that as a safety thing. My daughter, I know it's not the best way to do it and I could probably just shut this whole power strip off but I have other stuff plugged into it as well that I don't really want to do that um, so I just do that it's a great way to keep that um, shut off so I can go ahead and do that
make sure that once my daughter gets older, she doesn't accidentally come over here and turn it on. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to go through this uh, shelf, kind of show you guys what's going on. Um, I had to kind of pause the video because I had to run in real quick, say goodnight to my daughter, so I said come back out. And I decided that... Oh, yeah. Let me pull this out. So this was hit, and so I decided to just notch that out a little bit with my Dremel. Um, just so that way I got good enough clearance for that. Um, so I'll show you guys the saw in a minute. So, <clears throat> on this shelf I have three drawer stuff. Um, obviously wiring and solder, and it's also got screws in it. There. Um, screws and wiring tools. So I got wiring tools. These screws, these screws, uh, marking pencil, and then I got different Dremel bits. So I have my um, metal cutting bits, my sanding bands so I can sand off edges of stuff, um, my wood cutter, which I just use this over on that piece, um, and then obviously all my other stuff in there. And then the top is car stuff, so I have my code reader, my paint. Uh, touch up paint for the car. Erasers, I actually use those if I get, um, I'll show you guys over here. If I get, um, <clears throat> if I get wax on this black panel stuff, it's really hard to get off. So if you just come at it with, an, with a, just a regular standard eraser, um, you can get that uh, all cleaned up and whatnot. So I also have, um, the box for my Dremel here, and then different various aerosol cans were in that. That's all paint on that bottom there, and I had all my aerosol cans in there, but this side put stuff up here. So waterproofing spray for my boots, adhesive spray, spray adhesive, WD-40, PB blaster, and then mass airflow sensor cleaner and throttle body and air intake cleaner. Fire extinguisher there. Um, around this side I have my C-clamps, which is just... I clamped right on. I use those either to clamp wood together or I use those um, to compress the brake piston um, on brake calipers when I'm doing brake change. Various tapes from duct tape. Um, I got my double sided uh, Gorilla tape there, solder, um, electric tape, electrical tape, paint tape, paint tape, electrical tape again, packing tape. In here, which you can get two from right here, is just my um, tape measure. <clears throat> um, so on top of the pallet, I had this four by six that my neighbor gave me. So I just screwed that down on top of the pallet, um, and I put this bracket here. I don't even know where I got it from. It's magnetic. It holds my magnetic work light, just like that. So um, if I'm working on a car or something I can quickly stick this either like that or like that and then I can turn it on and the light swings out like that either way and it's got a little clip on it there and then this pops up to be a hook too if you want to hang it on something but I just like to use the the magnet so I do it that way um, I have my clamp work light which is actually pretty cool because this goes all the way up and all the way out and around like that, and then this swivels 360. So if I'm working on something, I can take that off. It's USB battery charge, your button's there. And then this is the clamp, but it also locks open and it needs to flip up and it turns into like it has its own little stand so you could stand on something. So if I was working on a car in the middle of the night, I could have it stand there up underneath. But it works good, because so I got high and low, so I got my work light right there. But, like, let's say I want to see something outside, I can quickly spin that and rotate it. And, obviously, you can see, like, the back of my car. It's, you know, super bright. Or, like, there's Michaela's car, Michaela's grandma's chair. Um, so, different stuff like that. It's got a uh, high and low power setting. But I just use it right here, and then it works good. Because I can tilt it up to see the saw. Or I can tilt it down to see if I'm working on something. So, it works pretty good there. Um, what else? You got my Dremel here. And then behind it is just a 10 millimeter wrench that I use to tighten down this chuck when you put something in it. Um, 
let's see what else. Oh, my shop vac sits down here, and the, the hose for it kind of just goes out the back there, which I turn this light on, and I turn it like that, you can see it there. So there it is, and it goes along up underneath and comes up onto the top of this adapter on top of my saw. I can obviously take that in and out, and then when I go to use the saw, I turn this on, and up in here, like up under here, it sucks a lot of it out. I mean, still, obviously, you get stuff everywhere. Right you still have to take this off after and vacuum around, but it works pretty good. Um, it's better than the this little collection baggie that comes on it. Um, as far as the saw goes, I don't really need that light on. As far as the saw goes, it's a Craftsman Laser Track miter saw, so it retracts. You know, extends out, retracts. Um, obviously, it moves up and down. So, if, like I said earlier, I can move this up, and I just make my cuts like this, just like that. And I have enough slack in the hose, the vacuum hose, that when I undo this and I pull this all the way out, it doesn't catch anything, which is nice. Um. Now there's actually a on-off kill switch on here as well, so I can kill that. I didn't even see that till now, but I can kill that switch. Or maybe it's... Actually, that might be the laser. Let me see something. So that's how I turn that on, and then... So it's got power. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. So it's actually got a laser here. So if I put a piece of wood in here, just this piece, it actually shows me um, where it is. So I draw my line, I can run that. I mean, obviously the old fashioned way, uh, let me just shut the power off to it. There. So now obviously the old fashioned way would be, you figure out which side of your line you wanna cut on, or you wanna keep, and you cut on the other side of the line, you just line it up like that with the blade. That's actually pretty cool. It's got the laser in it, and then I can, depending on what the size is, I can clamp it down with this, which it just kind of unscrews and pulls up, and I can push down, clamp it. It's got these little uh, winglets that slide out. So if I'm doing bigger pieces of wood, and that's on both sides, I can, well, that one's a little tight, but I can slide both of them out. Um, because it's loose. There you go. You gotta loosen these. Um, so I can slide both of these out to here, and then these will flip up to kind of keep it all together. I'll tighten those down. So I can do that. Um, this is the other side for the uh, for the clamp on the other side if you want to use that. And then there's a little lever in here. It pulls up, and I can do angled cuts with it too. Obviously, there's a stud there, so I can't really do angle cuts the other way, but that's because you just flip it upside down. Um, this would lock it in, but it doesn't seem to lock it in anymore. And then I can also, there's a big knob in the back. I, I gotta mess with it, but I can basically lean it this way. Do uh, tilted cuts like that. So, and then like I said, the vacuum plums in the back of it. So when I turn the vacuum on, it's sucking out of there. So I turn the vacuum on, let it sit for a sec, do my cut, and then let the vacuum sit for another sec, and then be done with it. So, um, And then this is the table saw. It's a job site portable. Um, so basically the ends slide out, the back piece slides out. This moves the blade up and down. This over here helps it tilt so I can do angled cuts. Um, and that's basically all the meat and potatoes this has, you can slide this out and lock it down to whatever existing depth you want, or inches you want, so if you have a piece of wood and you want to cut 10 inches off of it, like a piece of plywood, you just move it to 10 and you just run your cut. I don't use this all that much. This was the first thing I got, my uncle actually gave this to me, but now that I got this one, I use this, because it's right here, it's simple, it's easy, it's quick to use. That I gotta pull it out in the garage, out in the driveway, set it all up, run it. I mean, it's good if I'm chopping a bunch of plywood, um, but this is really good for doing four by four cuts and stuff of that nature. So um, yeah, it works really good. Oh, also, I have my extension cord hooked up and sitting over here. 
Um, yeah, oh, and then this. This is a little box thing I designed. So this is my attachment that I use on the vacuum to kind of vacuum everything up. Well, I could have kept it down here at these other attachments, but I didn't want to keep going down there to get it. So, and before I had gotten this adapter piece today, the vacuum hose is always hooked up to this. So I just kind of would just shove it in there and it holds it in there real good. So that's kind of what I did to hold that in there. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Greenlight Fire Station 7 on Instagram as well. So go ahead and follow me. And that's the shop update. I hope you guys like it. See you later.